Santa Barbara um, Beach, the wharf. I don't know. Anyway, it's gorgeous. And I was just like walking along the beach. I'm not walking on the sidewalk, but I was over there. I just feel like it'd be better filming over here. I don't know. But um, I'm like already thinking. So I feel like FaceTime to call up a couple people and I'm like feeling like I'm going to be so bored by myself, you know? Like, what am I gonna do? Like, I brought my book it's in there and um, journal and meditate. So I brought my journal and I always can meditate. But, like, I mean. <laughs> That's literally it, so. And like listen to music and YouTube, which is what I do at home. But when you're on vacation, like one of my things is like you never do things that you can do at home when you're on vacation. Otherwise, like, <laughs> why'd you spend all the money? I see people on bikes and I forgot that someone suggested that I rent a bike. And I don't see that seriously. There's even views like where I'm looking. Like look at that. That's amazing. I think what I'm gonna do now, because I have a couple hours before I check into my hotel, is read my book. Because that's something that I really want to get done. So yeah, I will do that. I'm gonna spend by the tree and by my car and read. Chill. Um, and hopefully finish it and then I'll check into my hotel, get all situated there and then I'm going to go to get a massage and do yoga both in the salt cave. Okay, so that is my plan. Alright, I will check in later. Bye! Sorry for the reflection but I think these thoughts are going to keep happening as I I'm on this journey and this trip, um, so I'm just going to like hit you with some like deep thoughts with Mimi. And uh, first deep thought is on kind of religion and just kind of like where we come from. So I'm reading this book, you're here, and it talks about um, how there's no such thing as as birth. And therefore there's no such thing as death. It asks you to go back and discover where you came from. Like obviously you came from your parents, who came from their parents, who came from their parents, and then you like go down the path and then you get to like the first humans and then like whatever was before the first humans and then um, <laughs> whatever was before that. Um, and I was thinking like, uh, like what what did happen? Like I should look that up. Like, what? Where did we come from? And the truth is, like, we don't know. And as far as, like, religion goes, you know, it's we were created. So that's where we came from. Is God, Jesus, whatever you believe in. Uh, and you can have unshakable faith and no doubt and just rock steady in what you believe that that's where we came from but the truth is we don't know <laughs> like scientists don't really know um religions don't really know like the truth is that's the truth like you don't know so like i said people can have unfakeable un unshakable faith i was gonna say unfaithable shake <laughs> unshakable faith that we came from wherever they think we came from but we can't always believe what we think you know we can only we really sh can only believe what we know and what we know we don't really know so I guess you can argue we don't know anything and you shouldn't believe anything you think but what you should believe is in, is in what you don't know. So, we really don't know. And that's it. I mean, I don't know where we came from. I can't Google. <laughs> where did we come from? Because um, we weren't there. 
you know, not in this form, anyway. So, there's a, there's a bar for you of, of thoughts. So I thought of another deep thought. So, you know how we should always be wishing people love and happiness and, and just not wishing people pain because, you know, what we wish for someone else is really what we wish for ourselves. And so when we think about someone we really don't like or hate or whatever, and we wish them pain or suffering, whatever it is, like that's what you wish yourself. So, however, I know it can be like really hard to wish people well <laughs> and want other people to be happy when you're so mad at them or just hate them or whatever it is it's really hard to get out of your own mind and just like wish them well so this is like it's a good way to like think about it and maybe maybe help you open up to being able to wish people well that you don't really want to wish well um and that is imagine them being happy and how that serves the world and how that makes other people feel better so their happiness maybe to you is a blessing but maybe because they're so happy like they're better at their job and maybe their job's really important and it's one where they really help other people and, and that creates just a chain reaction of more happiness in the world and wholeness and lightheartedness and maybe their friends benefit and their friends pass on their own and just happy vibes just kind of bounce and radiate off of everyone from that one person being happy and then you can think about it as in terms of like them not being happy i know when i'm not happy like i don't serve the world <laughs> i don't show up for the world in the way that i wish i would um and i know that energy is totally contagious and so when I'm negative or just like not in a great state of mind that totally affects other people around me so imagine that person not happy <laughs> and then how that harms the world you know and so maybe you can think about it in terms of like it's not about the person being happy it's about their happiness having an on other people and possibly even you somewhere down that chain reaction so I know it's hard and uh, it doesn't feel the best to to wish someone well that you really don't <laughs> but think of it that way and maybe maybe it'll be helpful to you and you can actually get in in a, in a better place to be able to fully wish them well and meet it and have it more and just totally, yeah, yeah, be in a state of love. So, that you can also achieve that and be that and have that and <laughs> benefit from it. So, yeah. So I got to my hotel room, 
uh, like an hour and like 15 minutes ago and I totally took an hour nap because that's what my body was just telling me to do <laughs> and I didn't realize that I got a sweet uh, which is pretty cool and now I'm on my way to the Himalayan salt cave in Santa Barbara to get a um, massage and salt scrub and then do yoga there which is pretty cool and then I plan on going to dinner right after I think it'll end at like 7 15 ish well 7 but I think I'll be out of there at like 7 15 ish um and I totally forgot the place that I'm going to dinner but obviously I'll take you along with me uh, and I wasn't going to bring my camera, but I guess now I need to. I'm going to dinner right after. So, okay, cool. Taking you along. Hi. Hey, so I just got done at the Santa Barbara Salt Caves. I got a facial and body scrub, and I also did Reiki yoga in their, like, big salt room. <laughs> it's so cool you just step on like Himalayan sea salt like it's all over the place it's on the the ground the walls the ceiling it's so amazing and I just feel so good and something about yoga like literally every time like I get something out of it I get some wisdom out of it and so I just love it and makes me just want to keep doing it and like I actually become a yogi um I don't know, it just feels good. Also, um, I had a huge burrito for lunch, and I'm not hungry, but I'm across the street from this restaurant called Mesa Verde, and I wrote it down on my list to, like, eat there twice because it just seemed so amazing and, like, so much vegan food that I really want to try it. There's one thing that I'm, like, dying to get, which is baklava. I just... I had baklava, like, maybe, like, five times in my life, and I just remember loving it, and so I'm excited that there's vegan baklava. Um, and let's see, some wisdom that I got out of this yoga session was definitely that it's okay to desire a relationship and want that, and also that I take really, like, I take damn good care of myself. <laughs> like, I fully love myself and give to myself and pour just so much in me. You know, I have health coach, I have therapists, I get massages every other week. Um, I go to the chiropractor when I need to. I um, have a good skincare regimen. I eat really healthy. I treat myself to things. Um, I have a really good relationship with money and like I don't know, I just really realize how much I do for myself and how much I invest in myself and it makes me feel really, really good because I thought, you know, maybe I don't have a relationship or maybe my, my last relationship ended because I don't have self-love and I just realized I do, you know, like, I really do and so, you know, it's just timing and like I also feel like I'm getting like really great deep life lessons that I don't think people get when they <laughs> when they have love just so easily given to them and have had amazing relationships. I've had the best relationships in my past. Um but when they end, you know, they end, and, and that's hard, and after this last relationship, getting back out there and, and being in a healthy place to, I guess, receive has been a little bit more difficult than I expected it to be, but, you know, I'm learning a lot at the same time, so, yeah. It's all good. It's all good stuff. It's just, you know, it's hard in the moment. But I also realized after yoga that, like, life is way too short to be unhappy. And and we should do what we want to do. And just, just do what it takes to be happy, you know? Like, if, even if, I don't know, 
I was going to say, even if it sounds like a bad idea, do it. <laughs> but, but maybe not. I don't know. Still figuring it out, clearly. But, um, yeah, maybe, maybe go for more, like, moments of joy, if, if you can get that. Yeah, we'll see. I, I'll, t I'll tweak that mindset and theory, but uh, for now, come watch me eat baklava. I might get something else, or I might get it to go and just bring it back to my hotel room. Like I said, I got a suite accidentally, and it has, like, a full kitchen, so, you know, if I need to, like, reheat stuff, I got it. All right, see you in there. Hi. So, I'm at the beach. I'm on a bike, <laughs> and I'm just kind of cruising. Um, there's a boardwalk over there. And uh, yeah, I'm just casually riding around, and I'm I'm loving this. I'm living right now. Look, there's people with kites. It's so cool. When I was little, let's let's ride. When I was little, uh, my dad would take me to the beach and we would rent a kite, and it was always so much fun. That's like good memories, you know. Okay, so I'm just gonna ride more and just play around and then I'm gonna like lay out because I brought a towel. So that is the plan. Uh, how my solo trip is going. It's honestly awesome. <laughs> like even like biking. I'm so happy because I don't have to go faster than I want to. I don't have to go slower than I want to. Amazing. Hi, so I made it back to my hotel room and now I'm going to yoga and then I'm gonna go get dinner and I'm pretty sure I'm getting dinner at Mesa Verde again because it's like convenient and I liked it and hopefully I can work up an appetite to get more food this time. I think I will. Yeah. Good morning, so I'm walking to Salt, the salt cave in Santa Barbara where I got my massage and I'm going to do yoga and so hopefully I'll be able to film the room for you guys since I didn't get any footage of it when I got my massage and did yoga there the first time. So bonus if you come here it's right next to a Lululemon. Okay, so I never showed you my suite. I probably won't put this in, but just because it's like so messy now. But it's pretty cool. I'm staying at the Brisa Del Mar in at the beach, and it's amazing. Um, some of the things they offer are great. Like they have uh, wine and cheese for free at four. They have complimentary wine when you check in, like in your hotel. They have um, milk and cookies at like six. They have free um, bike rentals, which I did yesterday, which was amazing. And I mean, what else? Um, the the lotion and stuff is like really great. And yes, I loved it. It's super close to the beach and. Yeah. All right, so I'm in traffic, but um, I'm cruising down to Malibu right now. I just passed through Calabasas, passed through Ventura earlier, um, and I completed my yoga, and I just wanted to say what I got out of it, which is that I need to tune into my feminine energy a little bit more and lean back and, and let things come to me and be open to receiving instead of always just giving and forcing and working on things just like 
be open <laughs> and I think that's amazing um, I even sense that I wasn't even receiving my my internal breath like fully I wasn't breathing in as much as I could be I was breathing out very well though so yeah I just thought that was pretty cool and I will show you when I get to Malibu I'm really excited I'm at the beach in Malibu. It's obviously gorgeous, okay? But I'm getting kind of bad vibes, so I think I'm gonna actually head out. Okay, camera died for a second. But I think I'm gonna go um, to Santa Monica, Venice area and check that out and be done with Malibu, even though it, it is gorgeous, so yeah. This is a weird way to start, but I made it to my hotel room. There's like a little courtyard out here. And then here's the room. <laughs> and let's see, okay. So I haven't opened this yet. It's kind of weird. It's like a weird closet. And then the bathroom is really pretty. It's like a lot of shower doors. All right, I am going to go to get food. I think I'm gonna do true foods. Hey, so I'm in my hotel. It's actually really cold in Santa Monica right now, and I need to venture out and find food. I think I'm going to vegan Thai food or something like that. Obviously, I'll show you. But um, yeah, I just feel like I need to give myself permission that it's okay to rest and chill and not really do anything on a trip. I feel like I've just been like, go, 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 and it's been so much fun. I've been loving it, but my body's exhausted, my mind's exhausted. I feel like I've learned and grown so much already that I just kind of need to like process it and let it sink in and resonate and let it change me and I just need to like nourish my body and like chill you know and tomorrow is a new day and tomorrow is going to be a little bit sunnier <laughs> and I think more feel good happy vibes and I'll be able to walk more and like explore the beach but I'm happy that I did yoga today and I touched the ocean in Malibu and um, now I can just kind of breathe and chill and then Tomorrow will be a really awesome, awesome day. So, yeah, I will show you what I get for food. Hi, babes. So, I'm going to yoga this morning. Um, I forget the name of the place, but uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab maybe a juice before I go. And then I'm going to probably go to this place. Um... <laughs> wow. This place, that's how I sneeze, called um, Golden Mean Vegan Cafe for like brunch. And then probably go to Santa Monica Pier and just the beach and um, what else? Um, oh, and then I'm gonna take a long walk to Venice and check out the Venice canals. Um, and then. What shall I do after? Find food, probably. Um, at 6.30, I have a float session where you go in like a deprivation tank, saltwater tank, and just kind of float for an hour. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to get dinner, maybe at Cafe Gratitude, um, and then come back here. I think that's going to be like my full day. So I will take you along and show you what I'm eating and show you where I'm going. And yeah, see you. Hello. So I'm under the Santa Monica boardwalk right now. And it's super beautiful. And I'm just loving it. I'm just loving it.
water and after the water dissipates you can just see how pretty they are and if you're ever in Santa Monica please check that out um, and don't step on them they're so beautiful uh, I can like feel them all in my feet right now Gorgeous. Just like humans are, they're all so different and unique and beautiful in their own way. Okay, so I am about to go floating at Paws in, in uh, Venice. <laughs> and first thing you want to do is rinse off and then you just get in and float. <laughs> um, and then you want to apply these um, earplugs. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay. Hi, this audio is terrible, so I'm voicing over, but basically it was a crazy experience. There was a couple times that I got freaked out in here where like one time I saw a dragon and was scared and then because it's completely dark in there and then I couldn't see like where my body was or like I I don't know at one point I was like completely flipped around it was crazy and then at a certain point I like smelled the scent of my grandma who passed away and it just made me like really sad and miss her a lot and I had to turn the light on twice there's little buttons that you can probably see in the background where they have lights that you can turn on and yeah twice I did that because I was scared so I did this for an hour and when I was in there I was like wow this is taking forever and then as soon as the lights like turned back on and it was over I was like oh that was super short and I really want to do it again okay that's it good morning okay. so it's my last day and I have to check in the hotel in a couple hours but I I check out of the hotel in a couple hours, but I just wanted to go to the, the pier one more time for the boardwalk. I still really have no idea what to call it. Um, so that's where we are. Oh. And I'm gonna go to the beach and dip my toes in the ocean one more time. And I know I can do it like any time, <laughs> like the ocean is not far from where I live, but I'm excited. I decided to give my body a break from yoga. Um, my lower back has been really hurting, so I'm just gonna like really do yoga on my own when I get home because I'll be home pretty early, like 5 5.30, so. Right by Boardwalk Slash Pier. And I touched the water, which is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> and um, yeah, it feels really good. Um, now that it's like time to leave Santa Monica, I'm like, uh, I don't want to leave. But Santa Barbara was definitely my favorite place that I went to this trip. I would like. I would have moved to Santa Barbara. That's how much I just really enjoyed it. But um, I've been like Malibu, and I said I want to go back, but like, so would I guess just to give it like a fair chance. But um, otherwise, I would definitely visit Santa Monica again. I didn't go on the ride. I was hoping that. The Ferris wheel would be open, but it's not. So I'm just kind of chilling at the beach. Happy place. Feels so good. That was a big wave. Wow. Yeah, that got me. <laughs> I'm so wet now. <laughs> okay, so I made it to Muscle Beach. Uh, I did the swings, obviously. I did them. Um, little like circle bars circle, you know the hoop things I did the rope also it's right behind me um, wow, my hands are like so raw like 
but um, I feel good. Yeah.